and direct granules extruder. The idea is to replace the filament in the fused filament fabrication, a common 3D printing technique. I am replacing that filament with a simpler to source raw material, granules. Filament is the plastic wire that is used as raw material in many 3D printers. This plastic wire is quite complex to manufacture and therefore relatively expensive. It usually ships on plastic spools and if you own a 3D printer, the tower of empty spools grows up in your workshop quickly. And if that garbage leaves your workshop, it usually ends up in the landfills of this planet. While speaking of landfills, this is also the place where all the failed prints will go to. Replace filament and turn waste prints back into raw material was the idea that entered my brain shortly after my first contact with 3D printers. Filament is made of pellets with an extruder, however that kind of plastic wire with a uniform diameter is more difficult to create than demonstrated here. Early on, hackers came up with the idea of attaching such an extruder to a 3D printer in order to print directly. However, these extruders were big, heavy, complicated machines, so inevitably expensive and simply not suitable for really detailed prints. My mission is to replace complicated and expensive with brain power and that's what this prototype demonstrates. But the construction breaks with many conventions of existing extruders, a lot of brain power went into the design. My extruder development was open source from the beginning and that version 1 already worked is what I have demonstrated 2 years ago. Why has the otherwise very experimental 3D printing community not yet taken up the ideas? I think because my approaches are simply too radically different and the general opinion in various forums was, pellet extruders have never worked on a 3D printer and never will. Obviously, that's what this one does as you can see here. The aim of my activities for the Hackaday Prize 2021 was, in addition to building another prototype, to explain the physics behind my design in more detail. Open source does not end with the publication of drawings, but as I understand it, also requires to lay open all the ideas behind. Extruder works, so mission accomplished, why am I still begging for the Hackaday Prize money? Because the path to an extruder design that can be machined and so is ready for serious production is still ahead of me. A basic problem that I managed to solve is the raw material. On the left you can see industrially manufactured pellets, on the right the raw material I use in my extruder. You can see the differences, can't you? So will I replace the expensive filament by equally expensive special granules? No, because a common blender and a handmade sieve turn the industrial pellets into suitable raw material for the extruder. Failed prints or plastic waste in the blender also works, but is only an insufficient description to get suitable raw material. There's still a lot to tell about recycling and sourcing raw materials for the extruder in order to make it all work as demonstrated here. Sugar as raw material? Works, but due to the very different properties compared to thermoplastics, it is another chapter on its own. However, the sugar demo shows that filaments that are too brittle to be printed are a thing of the past. Additives, for example to make plastics conductive and therefore suitable for sensors, can be processed in nearly any mixing ratio. What else I have to say doesn't fit into a 5 minute video, so let's come to an end. The slogan of the Hackaday Prize... Rethink... Refresh, rebuild, is what my extruder project fulfills. I hereby invite Hackaday to become part of a project that has until now been labeled with It Doesn't Work. It is now up to the jury what people will say when pointing with their fingers at you. Either these are some of those who said the extruder isn't worth supporting, or this is Hackaday, they helped Norbert to give us the open source direct granules extruder. Your choice. And if someone else would like to support this project, there is